Hey YouTube, it's your home girl Lena Ma, and as you guys can tell from this title, I have a beauty haul. So some things that I got for my birthday, some things I picked up myself from ASOS, anything that was sent to me by brands, PR companies, I will leave with an asterisk in the description if anyone's interested. So I'll start with a few bits that I got from ASOS. Now these were very kindly gifted to me by my boyfriend for my birthday. He knew I wanted to try some of their bits and well, I'm too cheap to spend that kind of money on skincare so he very kindly got me this Immediate Moisture Facial. It's a spray hydration thing. This has rose petal, bergamot peel and chamomile bud. I've already used up half of it so I'm liking it so far. This smells so lovely, it's very very relaxing. And yeah, so far I'm liking the Aesop stuff. Along with this Sage and Zinc Facial Hydrating Cream, which I love. This I have been using every day since I got it. It has an SPF of 15, and I will be taking it on my holidays with me. Yeah, liking it a lot. I will be looking at more creams that they have to offer because I'm very much impressed with this. The next thing is a spot treatment. This is a, how do you say it? niacinamide salicylic acid it's a spot treatment and i love this again now don't get me wrong i really really like it but it's not going to just get rid of your spots overnight it just helps with the healing process and i find that it just helps with the size it doesn't look as big i had a huge one just here and i'd use this every day on my spot and it just kind of helped reduce the size and the redness really really liking this yeah and now the last Aesop item that I have, which is, it's not really a skincare item. Now I've wanted to get my hands on this ever since I saw it in their shop. I actually featured it in one of my vlogs years ago with Tasha. If I can find it, I will leave it in the description. Um, but we walk into the Aesop shop, we see these and we ask the man, what, what is this? And it is their post who drops. I've used them today. And uh, yeah, it smells lovely in the bottle. It's like got like an orange peel kind of smell, but it doesn't actually work. Well, I don't know if my bowels are just that toxic that this can't help. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically what this is, when you go to the toilet and do a number two, and it might be smelly, um, you flush it, wait for it to go, bye bye, and then just put a few drops of this into the toilet and it should smell nice for the next visitor. I visit the toilet quite frequently and I can't smell it, but I'll keep using it. It looks lovely in the bathroom and it, it is, it does smell lovely. Might be good as a diffuser or I don't know, but yes. These are the Aesop Post Poo Drops and if you get a chance to go into the shop and look at this, please do because this little bit is quite funny. Yeah, a few drops into the toilet after you poo. Post Poo Drops from Aesop. So I'll move on to some makeup bits. I have a, a few things to show you. The first is a lipstick. This I wore in one of my recent videos and a few of you guys asked what it was. And it's by Giorgio Armani. And this is limited edition lipstick in the shade, I think Urban Gorilla Red. And this is exclusive to the shop in Covent Garden. They have recently opened up a shop in Covent Garden. So this is to celebrate. And there is a big red Uri Gorilla there. I sound crazy, just yeah. It's by Armani and it's a nice red lipstick. Very moisturising and a really nice shade as well, liking that. Also by Giorgio Armani, they very kindly gifted me this. Now I've kept it in the box because I wanted to show you guys. I had no idea it was coming and when I opened it, I was like, ah. So I get four, four different foundations, I think. Um, it comes like this. And it does also come with a brush, which I have used today, so excuse it being dirty, but it has my name on it. How freaking cool is that? Loving that. And then they sent me the Maestro Fusion Makeup, which has an SPF of 15. This is, blah, blah, blah. this is in the shade number seven, which is a little bit too dark for me, but hopefully I'll get a nice tan this summer. Um, this is very similar to... Uh. It's not similar to that, sorry. It's very similar to, I don't know, L'Oreal had that foundation that you shake up, I think it was the Nude Magique. That kind of texture, it's quite liquidy and runny, and then it has like this nice silky matte finish. 
Very natural looking though, really like this. And then the other one is the Luminous Silk Foundation, which I have tried in the past. Um, I used to have it in the shade 6.5. This is in number seven. It's okay, it's not the exact right undertone for me, but I can still get away with wearing this. And this is the one I have on my skin today, and it's their Power Fabric Foundation. And this one is in the shade 7.5. So all of the foundations, even though they're like shade number seven, 7.5, they're slightly different. Both of these are in shade number seven, but they vary in color slightly. Loving the Power Fabric what I have on today and then the last thing in here I have is this um, Maestro Glow Nourishing Fusion Makeup with an SPF of 30. This just looks very glowy, it's very lightweight as well, nice for summer if your skin's looking lovely. I like mixing this with some of the other foundations because it just gives the skin a nice glow. I'm loving all of the Armani makeup, it just, it feels amazing, it lasts all day and Love it. So thank you, Armani. The next makeup item, I was actually looking at this on Instagram thinking, ooh, and very kindly got sent it in the post, and it's by Becca. Just look. Oh, how cool is that? It's so pretty, it's a rainbow. And um, it's got their highlighter just there. This is their prismatic highlighter in the shade Amethyst. That's perfect, because it is my birthstone and it's it's gorgeous as you guys can see i'm not sure if i can pull this shade off because it's quite quite a cool toned highlighter it's very psychedelic that's becca prismatic highlighter in the shade amethyst one other makeup item that i have here i just repurchased the nyx micro brow pencil i've been through about two or three of these absolutely love them however i decided to pick this up in the shade brunette which was a bad idea when I swatched it, it seemed fine, and it does so on my hand. It just looks like a nice kind of brown, but on my brows, it's quite warm, so just keep that in mind. That's the NYX Micro Brow in Brunette. So I'll move on to some bath things that I got sent, and I can't wait to try this out because it looks so pretty. It's these Mandara Spa Bath Soap Petals. How pretty are they? So yeah, I'm guessing you just pop them in the bath and they make you smell nice and they look pretty and I can't wait to try these. And then they also sent me this Oriental Retreat Beauty Oil and I have used this when I was a little bit sick and ill and it was amazing. I loved it, it smells lovely and it also has a few similar ingredients to Vicks. Good if you're not feeling too great or just if you want a nice relaxing bath. They kind of remind me a little bit of um, Elemis spa products like the packaging. This has got a nice glass bottle, feels quite luxe. And this is available in Sainsbury's, by the way, all of the Mandara Spa range. And they also sent me two of these little candles, which smell so lovely. Very like musky, liking that a lot. And now I'll move on to some skincare bits that I picked up from ASOS that I have been raving about in a few of my videos. So I'm sorry if you're sick of me talking about them, but I'm gonna show you what I got. So. These bits are by the brand called The Ordinary. I was scrolling through ASOS, I came across them and they were fairly cheap. And I thought, why not? I'm gonna give it a go. And the first thing that I picked up from there was this 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This stuff, I just fell in love with what I tried. So I went and ordered more, but so far I'm loving this oil. My mum really, really loves it as well. So and I've noticed a difference in her skin. It's not too heavy for everyday use, and it only has just one ingredient in it, which is the rose hip seed oil. So loving this, very affordable. And another thing that I like is that their um, bottles are in UV protective packaging. So I know sometimes I like to leave my um, skincare out in the bathroom, but when the sun gets to it, it can lighten the product and alter it. But these are UV protected bottles, so you can have them out on display. The packaging's lovely, they work, and they're really reasonably priced. The other product that I really like from theirs is the Buffet, and this is their multi-technology peptide serum. I kind of use this morning and night. It's what I've been reaching for recently. I'm halfway through, really liking this. So because I was so impressed with those two products, I decided to go ahead and purchase a few more. 
I got this Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% product. Now this has the same ingredient as the ASOP blemish control. So really, really good if I get a few breakouts and it's really nice in making my skin just appear a lot brighter. I've been using this the past few weeks. I'm not currently um, reaching for this because I'm trying out that one again. But yes, I like this product a lot. Loving that. And then the other one is the Alpha Arbiton 2%. Now this is very good at making my skin look very radiant. And again, I have used this, as you can see. Um, I'm liking this as well. Good for radiant skin, as I said. And then the other product that I tried is the Lactic Acid 10%. I'm gonna be honest, this product stinks. I absolutely hate the smell of it. It's like burning plastic, I can't, Oh my god, it just smells like burning. It's absolutely awful. And I thought, there's there's no way I'm going to like this because of the smell. I woke up in the morning and my skin just looked so glowy and amazing and fresh that I can kind of get over the smell. It's not something that I use every day because it is quite strong, maybe once a week or once a fortnight. And that's by the ordinary. If you don't like strong smells and you just can't stand it, then don't try this, but I, I like the results. And then I also have been trying this Advanced Retinoid 2%. I haven't tried this as much as the other products, so I can't comment on it too much, but I will let you know how I get on with it. So because I bought quite a few of their bits, they noticed and saw that I was such a big fan and asked if I would like to pick a few more bits from their site. And of course I said yes, there's still so many more products I wanna try. And currently I have been using the Caffeine Solution 5%. And this is just for the under eyes. It's really helped to improve the texture of my skin under my eyes. My dark circles are still there. I don't think they're gonna go away just by using a cream but it's definitely made them look a little bit brighter and like I said it's mainly the texture the texture of my under eyes just the texture of my skin it's just really really improved it and that's the caffeine solution 5% and then I have this product which I haven't tried at all it's still in the box and it's a 100% plant derived squalene I don't know what that means but it's a surface hydration and just comes in the same same packaging, looks like that. Not tried that, so I can't comment on that one yet. Next one I have tried, and this is their High Spreadability Fluid Primer. This is a makeup primer. This makes my skin feel so smooth, so soft. It just seems to fill in all the lines. It just kind of disappears and absorbs and leaves the skin feeling really, really silky and smooth. And my foundation just glides on. Works really, really well with the Armani foundations. And I've noticed that a lot of these products that I've tried work very, very well with other skincare brands. So I still use my Lizelle cleanser. I've been using the Aesop cream with it as well and I've had no issues so so far I'm very much impressed by The Ordinary and this fluid primer is no different. Now, another primer by them is this, it comes in a tube form and this is slightly more heavy duty and it's their high adherence silicone primer but as I said I've yet to try it so I can't comment on it but loving this one. Check out what primers they have to offer. Just. Check out all of their skincare because it's amazing and very, very much affordable. And now I just have two more items to show you. Now these are by a company called Neod, which is owned by Desiem who own The Ordinary and this brand. I'm gonna leave their link in the description because they have so many different brands under their umbrella. And then the first thing I have here, which I absolutely love and I've been reaching for so much, day and night, it's the Superoxide dis dis I'll leave the name in the description, but yes. Love the size of it, because it's massive, and you can use this all over the body to improve water density and target oxidative, oxidative stresses, whatever that means. It just feels very refreshing, and my skin tends to feel very plump after using this, so loving that. This cleanser, which is also by Neod, comes in this packaging. I've used this for the past few days and so far I like it, but I need to use it a bit more and get a feel for the product. It is a cleanser, as I mentioned, but it doesn't remove makeup. So I use this in the morning when all my makeup's gone. So far, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but We'll keep using it and see how I get on with it. And that is it for the beauty haul. I'm sorry there was a 
there's a lot of skincare to get through so my apologies um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more peace Hey, it's just me again. I'm just letting you guys know that you can check out my last video by clicking on the box just there. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button too. Peace.